Hi everybody, this is Robbie Straczynski for PokerUpdate.com here at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure 2016. We're sitting here with Elkie. How you doing, man? Hey, hello, Robbie. How are you? I'm doing right. good. Nice right. to nice, see you, nice man. You. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to, nice to meet you, too. Yeah, nice to meet you. We That's, never met, right? We have never met okay, before. Cool. This is very, very exciting. <laughs> this is very, very exciting. So, you know, what is on your agenda this year for the PCA? You know, tell us what are your plans, what are your goals, what's your schedule? Well, my plan is definitely to uh, win the PCM in event. That's but right. <laughs> most of the time, this plan doesn't go according to uh, <laughs> according to what I wish. You know? So, like in poker, it's great to it's great to have plan and goals, but you have to be very flexible because, like, if you set yourself like too hard, uh, I say like hard plan, like, like set in stones, you know, like there's like a lot of variance in poker, and you mm -hmm. have to be to be aware of that. So you you have to set yourself goals, but you have to be. Uh, willing to reconsider, you know, of and just course. Like, play your best and, uh, and like, shift gears. Yeah, so. shift gears. Yeah. I mean, I'm really, really, you know, I, I rested a lot like the last two weeks. So, nice. Like, uh, feel, <laughs> feeling great and yeah. uh, I have a lot, lot of good memories here. Very so cool. As well. so Very yeah, cool. Yeah, good performance. Yeah. Well, you know, obviously, like you said, you've traveled a lot over, you know, these past few years. You've visited many different poker venues. What is special about the PCA? Well, you know, I imagine this is probably one of your favorite destinations, right? Uh, yes, definitely. I mean, for me, PCA is special because it like, kick-started my poker career because it was my first big right. live poker tournament, tournament win uh, back in 2008 mm -hmm. when I won the main event. So right. it's definitely like even more special for me. Very for cool. me. But uh, overall, I think what's great is definitely the location. It feels like a resort and it kind of feels like more vacation than any other. Oh, yeah. I, think, you know? I hear you loud and clear. That's fun. <laughs> Have you had a chance to go to the pool yet? Uh, not yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a chance. It was glorious Bahamas weather. Um, well, yeah, you mentioned you know, 2008 was your breakout. You know, does it? You still think about that often of like what it was like to win that for? Or when you come back here, I imagine like you have that memory. Like, what was it like? Uh, yes, for sure, for sure. I still think about it, and like sometimes I see, I see like the replay video, you know, and yeah. it's always like, uh, it's always very special because I was like working hard for that fir for that first uh, victory, and it's mm -hmm. like it's like the time that started everything because it gave me the confidence to go on a big run and everything. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's a, really is a dream of like every uh, every poker player is to win to win a huge live tournament. Wow, yeah. So it's like uh, I mean maybe back then I was not able to appreciate it uh, as much, you know. Right. But it's definitely like something uh, something amazing, and I uh, really hope I can repeat it again. Cool. I hope so too. Good luck. Thanks, man. Well, you know, you recently joined Team Liquid, right? Hearthstone. Yes. Very very excited about Hearthstone. Let us know what is it like to sort of you know, you used to be a professional gamer in South Korea as well. You know, what is it like sort of to be, you know, give us, what, what is the insight for poker players who aren't familiar with it, that, that video gaming industry? What's that, what's that like? Well, eSports is, uh, is huge now, but I always loved eSports because I was oh, like e -sports, a right, yeah. I was a soccer player before uh, professional in South Korea, before mm -hmm. I played poker. And there are actually a lot of skills that translate directly to poker or like from mm. poker to eSports because I mean, I think it's kind of the same at every every competition. That's a high level. And that's why also like you can see like before like Boris Becker was playing poker and like the Neymar, tennis every, player, right? Yeah, Boris tennis. So even like even like uh, like like Neymar and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, yeah. Every like really high level competition. There's always like this kind of like adrenaline and like uh, the competition and the yeah. Just so you have that as an e gamer the, as well. The intensity of it. Yeah, it's like really big in uh, e gaming as well. Mm -hmm. So and there are a lot of. Uh, Hearthstone, Hearthstone even more so than StarCraft, there's a lot yeah. more uh, similar points because they're both playing with cards and there's mm -hmm. like incomplete information, you don't know which cards your opponent is holding, what That's he's true. going to do, right. so you have to kind of predict his move, it's the same thing in poker, you know, you don't know what he's holding, but right. when you see him play something, so you can predict what he's going to do with some kind of hand, so you can mm. try to be one step ahead of him, and mm. uh, thinking like few turns, uh, in Hearthstone, like transferable like, skills, yeah, to like just yes, like a poker table. Them. So, and also there's variance in Hearthstone, more so than other video games, mm -hmm. I think, uh, which means like, if you're like the best player, you don't necessarily win all the time, mm -hmm. which means like... Uh, but yeah, you win like, a lot of the time. Yeah, you right. win a lot of the time, <laughs> yeah. but it's, like, and it's still unpredictable and there's like some like uh, some huge uh, game-changing moments. It's kind mm. of the same in poker, you know, like there's like those rivers that, changes every, that ch can change everything. Like one card can change everything and in Hearthstone it can, it can be the same way uh, sure. as well, like one draw or one uh, random uh, act on some cards. So, right. Well, you, uh, recently, you had an, you know, a, a marquee matchup against Daniel Negreanu at BlizzCon. Right? Yes. How did uh, that go for you? Uh, it didn't go that well. It did not go <laughs> was, so well. That was three to one, yeah. <laughs> well, what, what was it like, though? I mean, playing in front well, of it was, it was, it was Did great, it bring yeah, you back it, to the days like of South of Korea? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it was huge. Like, he was playing in front of a big audience, mm -hmm. and like nowadays, especially more so because of 
live streaming and the technology and oh for sure people, like hundred thousand people watch us play just wow like something crazy. more than i think like we're two people imagine a hundred thousand people look around us that's a yeah, lot of people i think it was 150 000 wow. people online so that's pretty insane that's pretty insane like like there was maybe like a couple thousand on the on the scene and it's already pretty impressive but when you picture it's like even though it was impossible to picture like 150,000 people like watching you live because I went wow. to like the Stade de France it's like 80,000 and it's like what the hell there's so many people wow. and it's like twice that almost it's just so crazy to, uh, to wow. imagine you think we'll ever get audiences like that for a poker match or maybe like the cube in the global poker uh, league you think we'll, we'll get there yeah, one day I think we'll get there I don't know if it's for the cube or not but you know like uh, Twitch is going a lot and Twitch mm -hmm. poker is going a lot mm -hmm. uh, thanks to like Jason Summerville like, right of course mostly but, yeah, but you're also on Randy Twitch and I, we yeah. were fishing, you know and it's, go it's going a lot so I think it's a uh, I think it's not uh, unfathomable that we can like, we can uh, reach those audiences eventually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, you know, we did uh, we did mention the uh, Global Poker League. I imagine they're going to have uh, a Paris team. I believe you want to be part of that team. Is that something you maybe want to do? Uh, yeah, sure. I would, uh, I would love to play and you know, represent the Global Poker Global Poker League you mm -hmm. know, because I think it's something something very innovative and it's new. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be uh, very successful, but it's good to be. I love to be part of like the the new things that come out and like. Well, sure, Alex Dreyfus is really we, innovating. Only experience yeah. will tell you, you know, and it's like maybe you, maybe maybe it's wrong, maybe it's not. But okay. like it's, a, it's a really good experience, and I think it's a great thing that he's trying to do for poker. So mm -hmm. it's like good to give him as much uh, support as possible. For sure, everyone's got to support Alex Dreyfus in the Global Poker League, Sportify Poker, right? Yes. yes. Um, okay, major live tournament happens. What do you do? Like, what do you have like a routine to prepare for it as as you're about to go and play, like? Just, I don't know, maybe breathing techniques or something like that? Or are you just sort of like wake up and show up and like, okay, you're on your A game? Uh, well, it really is more about the preparation. Like, mm. uh, I really try to meditate and uh, mm. meditate in the morning and go to the gym oh, before, wow. before the tournament and just like be healthy. So, uh, we be really, have a really healthy routine the first days before before the tournament. That's, mm -hmm. uh, that's mostly it. And then during the tournament, just like really like stay focused and be, uh, yeah, mostly stay focused and cool. the tournament. Uh, that's about it, yeah. Okay. Well, after you win, you know all the events here at the PCA. What's uh, what's next on tap for you? you going to Aussie Millions? Are you going to uh, next? Yeah, uh, I'm not thing? going to Aussie Millions. Okay. It's, too, it's a bit too far. It's like really, really long trip. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's a long flight. Well, especially because like there's like back to back PCA and Aussie. If I want to do Aussie Millions, then I want to go to Dublin. Mm. And then like in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. love I love I love Australia though, but it's just so far. Like, uh -huh. I feel like I should just like stay outside of the poker tournament if I go there, you know? Yeah, so I hear you. That's are, you going, are you going to Aussie Million? I am not, well, maybe, I don't know. You want to take me? <laughs> I'm not going, so oh, it's okay. to take you. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe maybe <laughs> next time around. Um, you know, one more question, then we got something fun for you. Um, okay, we've been asking everybody, you know, of course, you're here to play poker as well, and you do interviews like these. What else do you do away from the tables to have fun here in the Bahamas and relax? Uh, in the Bahamas, I love I love to go to uh, swim with the dolphins. Actually, it's oh wow, one, it's probably one of my favorite. Uh, That's favorite really thing. cool. What's and better than swimming year, with the sharks? Yeah, course, last right. last year I did scuba for the first time uh, as well, and it was really amazing experience. Wow. I mean, I, I'm not good at it, but I can see that if you like, if I was better. Even there, it was a lot of fun, and it's like something so different and unique, and especially like. Yeah, something so unique that I do on my everyday life. That's so really like, cool. I really want to do it again this year if I get the chance. Yeah. What a great experience. Okay, you well, that's... You should do it, for sure. Yeah? Dolphins? It's like, it's like a, no, the scuba... The Maybe scuba we'll do a stuff. dolphin video. What do you guys yeah. think over at Poker Update, huh? Yeah. <laughs> dolphin, dolphins are awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Well, that's the end of our planned questions, but we have one special last question for you. Random question from a hat. Okay. So let's see... Go ahead and let's pick see, one out here. Let's see if I get lucky. Okay, you, you see, I you get lucky. Or they're, all, uh, they're all awesome questions. All right. You go ahead and read it to the camera. What's the question? Nice and loud for all everybody. Right. Who is your favorite Muppet? Who is your favorite Muppet? Who is your favorite Muppet? <laughs> oh man, I don't know any Muppets by name. Oh, you don't know the Muppets? I don't know any Muppets by name. No. Oh, Sorry. like Kermit the Frog. You know? Her? Oh, I know Kermit the Frog. Uh, okay. So that's the only one I know. Actually. Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear. No. No. Um, well, oh, the Sam the Eagle. No. We'll go with Kermit the Frog. <laughs> okay. I can get another question if you want. Okay, one more question for you. Here you go. I didn't Mother want to Sorry. <laughs> no problem. One more question right, for you. Worst television theme song ever. Yeah, what is the worst television theme song ever? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't watch much TV either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll give one, uh, la one, one last sorry. one. Okay. Yeah, sure. well, that's one last series. one. Sorry, Let's sorry. go for it. We'll find okay. a winner here. Third okay. time's a charm. Okay. First three, 
things that come to your ah, mind to bring to a desert island? What are the first three things that come to your mind to bring to a desert island? Ah, there we go. That's hard, actually. Probably my girlfriend. Okay, that's can I, one. Can I come with my girlfriend? You, of course you can bring okay, your that's girlfriend. Good, that's good. Uh, and probably her bags are the other two things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, survival stuff, I guess, because it's probably not, not be Wi Fi or anything, so. Right. <laughs> probably survival stuff. I hear that. Well, you <laughs> heard books, it. I guess, yeah. yeah. Well, you heard that here first at pokerupdate.com. Again, we are at the PCA in the Bahamas. Elki, thank you very, very, very much for, you know, just agreeing to spend some time with us here. The fans love you. Um, anything, last thing you want to say to them? You're welcome, Bobby. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks for the love, everyone. That's, uh, it, means really, it means really a lot for, for me to have like all this support uh, from uh, all my fans. Well, you, you, you give and you just, get, you just get right back, man. So thank you very thank much. You, Bobby. Be well.